Hello again. <laughs> All right. Three in a row, Slim. Three in a row. Hello. <laughs> Hello again, Robinson. Yeah. Um, welcome to. Yeah, this welcome. welcome back. <laughs> um, <laughs> Did you change the title of the class? Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> For those of you who were in my last class, I was confused. I've been planning all of these classes, and I forgot which class was next. So this is a news and politics class. And today we're talking about the news because I don't like politics. And we're talking about science. Because this is a I read something about Bolivera or something. I don't know. About what? <laughs> Bolivera or something Bolivera? like that? Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the previous title before you change it. No, oh, I didn't change it. No. no, I didn't. I didn't change it at all. That, actually, that wasn't the title that was written just a few minutes ago. That's why. Oh, for me, it's been the same the whole time. Uh, but I did make a mistake in my last class. I said that we'd be talking about Nova Scotia, and I was very wrong. <laughs> Okay, so um, Wafa is back. Uh, good, e good evening. Very late for you. Yes, hi. Hi, nice to have you back. Good to see you too. Yes, good. And Salo? Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good, and you? Good, good. Uh, what's new with you? The, there's no news. <laughs> yeah. Same how thing. Your, how was your weekend? Good. Studying a lot. Yeah. I see. All right. Good to see you again. And Rema is back. Hello. Hi. Thanks for coming back. Uh, hi, Hanan. Hi, teacher. How are you? I am fine. What about you? Uh, I'm great. How was your weekend? Oh, okay, good. Did you do anything exciting? Actually, no. Just stayed at home. Okay, no I think this is the last class with you on free calling. Um, technically, yes, I guess. Well, wait. Let's see. No. No more classes, yeah? No, that's not true. Because Colingo, the new Colingo starts at a specific time tomorrow. And in fact, it will be like nighttime for you. It will be like, like um, 10 o'clock p.m. for you. You mean uh, 12 o'clock in the uh, United States? No, for you. It's like late night for you. It would be like 10 p.m. or something for you. Or now is uh, 11 p.m. in my time. So it'd be it's 11 p.m. So really? Okay, then I'm confused. It's you're only four. It's only 11 p.m. for you, Hanan. It's to 11 p.m. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so it's only four. You're only four hours ahead of me. Okay. Wow, that's crazy. I can't believe that. Okay, so in that case, it'll be 9 p.m. tomorrow for you. Okay, if it's ten, if it's only 11 p.m. now, then it'll be 9 p.m. tomorrow when we're changing to the paid site. But I was, as I was telling people uh, in the last class, even if you don't want to do the paid, whatever the new thing, you might as well try it anyway if you can, because the first week is free for everybody. It's a free trial for everybody. Okay, we won't charge you. You give us your payment information, and we will not charge you anything. Zero dollars. So uh, you can still take the classes for a week and get your personal teacher and do all that fun stuff that I was telling you about, see the new website, and get all the benefits that everyone else will get for free so you can try it. So you might as well, might as well try it. So it might not be your last uh, class. Either. OK, um, Everton, can you hear me? Or can I hear you, more importantly? Hello. Mm -hmm. How oh, are you? I can hear you, yes. Oh, yes. I'm good. And you? Uh-huh. Uh, it's a little quiet, but yeah, I can hear you. 
You use loud now? It's about the same. <laughs> but, um, uh, how are you? I'm fine. And how is how is your weekend? My weekend was normal. I stay at home and study. Okay. Cool. Uh, good to have you back. You recognize me? Uh, I've seen you before, but it's been a. It seems like it's been a uh, been a a long time. So yeah. I recognize your name, uh, but I, uh, but I can't. I'm not on 100% sure where you're from. I have a, I have a guess, but I'm not sure. <laughs> where do you think I am? Um. Uh, I would. My. I don't know. Uh, Brazil. Yeah, I'm from Brazil. All right. <laughs> I won. I won the game. <laughs> uh, okay. But I, I, I'm sure I don't know what city. Uh, I would just get Sao Paulo because that's the, the first. City. No, it is not. Yeah. It is where, Pernambuco. From where? Pernambuco. I'm from Pernambuco, Recife. Oh, okay. Oh, Recife? Oh. Cool. Um, uh, okay, so... Okay, great. I was good. I'm glad I can hear you now. Uh, Antasar is here. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Hi, my teacher. Hey, how are you? How are you? Good. How was your weekend? Thank you. And you? Well, I had a great weekend. Thank you. Uh, not bad. <laughs> uh, okay. And uh, Coco? Hello, everybody. Hey. Uh, have, have we met before? Uh, well, actually, this is my first time uh, here. Not in Kalingo, but with you in your class. Yeah. Ah, okay. And tell me about tell me about yourself. Well, it's Coco from Algeria, North Africa, twenty two years old and I study um, English at university as a third language. And yeah, this is it. Mm -hmm. Great. Good to have you here. Welcome. <laughs> okay, so um oh wait, let's see, I'm gonna for those of you who are new, I'm going to also share some links with you. Okay. That is our Facebook group that I'm sharing. Uh, our Facebook group, my Facebook page, and what else? I'm going to go here. And this soon, a soon to be redesigned teacher page. Uh, so the new teacher page will be much nicer. And you'll be able to look at all the teachers and learn about them, and they'll have a big little biography about them, a story, and they'll tell their interests and say what kind of classes they teach. So you can, when you're selecting your teachers, you'll know more about uh, their personality and stuff like that. So, uh, okay, yeah, so today's class is a news class. We're talking about a new story that I read about um, stem cells. Um, this is a new kind of, uh, a new kind of technology that they found, a new kind of stem cell which um, doesn't come from a human embryo. Uh, they've figured out how to make a stem cell from any, any cells in the body, I think. Uh, we'll learn more about it later. Um, our grammar skill that we're going to work on, work on today is um, uh, plurals. Uh, we're going to talk about plurals. We're going to talk about count nouns. So we have this count nouns and there's uh, non-count nouns, right? So um, um, for instance, you say, um, when you talk about plural words, you can have, um, you can drink some coffee, and you can have ten coffee beans in your hand, right? So there's, you know, the non-count is like you use the word some, and uh, things that are countable, you um, there's a different way to say it, right? So 
I think this shouldn't be new for everyone. This should be kind of review for some of us. Um, so let's do a little warm up here and see your skills on this. Um, so for instance, I can ask you, uh, uh, why, uh, hmm, like, um, let's see, let me, let me think of a, let me think of a good question to ask you guys to, to get the, get the discussion going. Um, so, well, I guess I could just ask this question then. Um, so, do you know about stem cell research? Like, why has it been controversial in the past uh, past years? The teacher, can you repeat again? Think? Yeah. Uh, why has stem cell research been controversial in the past uh, past years? Recently? There's a lot of disease. Oh, I think two people were talking at once. Um, uh, Wafai, what did you say? Because uh, the last years there is a lot of disease. Disease. New disease, and yes. Okay. And um, they they like searching for a solution. Uh huh. Uh, and that's but is that why it's controversial? So if something is controversial, that means people uh, means people are uh, some people don't like it, and some people like it, and there people are arguing if it's good or bad. That's what controversial means. So uh, for, it was controversial for a while. People were having a lot of arguments mm -hmm. about if it's if it's right or if it's wrong. So um, so can we use count nouns or non-count nouns? to answer uh, why it was controversial? This is kind of an advanced question. So sorry, we still don't have um, uh, skill levels on our, on our current classes, but we'll do that very soon. So, um, but she's right that, um, that uh, there's been some diseases that we wanted to cure recently. But um, why has it been controversial in the past? This kind of technology, this kind of this kind of work. Teacher. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm. Oh, Antisar, yeah. Uh, because uh, teacher and the bond stem cell from uh, from the baby. They killed baby to get uh, stem cell, but um, new uh, new research. The, um, that you can um, take it from the baby. So nowadays uh, they are trying uh, to buy a placenta and take uh, the stem cells. So you, you can do anything from stem cells. For example, they can make a new uh, heart. Anything um, for stem cells. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Thanks. So yeah, it was controversial because some people, I just used a non-count noun, some people, not 10 people, but some people, millions of people maybe, um, didn't like the idea that they took it from a human embryo. Not a baby, but a human embryo, which is like a cell. It's a cell in the, in the uh, person. Yes, embryo. Which, is, uh, which, mm -hmm. which turns into a baby, of course. So, um, and it was controversial because many people, uh, many people, uh, didn't think it was morally right to take an embryo which could, you know, which could turn into a person, and uh, so some people thought that it was too much, uh, wasn't the right thing to do. Uh, maybe religious groups or just some, some more conservative people didn't agree with it, and so there's a lot of controversy. And so they are finding different ways to get around that because the research uh, involved is so important. As Entasar said, you can. When we do this kind of work, uh, this kind of research, you can, they have the technology to develop living organs, human organs, for people who are dying. So this could potentially save millions of lives and even maybe cure terrible diseases. So that's the big controversy. Mm -hmm. So um, 
Um, so since we're talking about plurals, um, uh, I want to talk about words ending in S. So um, words ending in S. There are really two ways to pronounce that in the English language, aren't there? Um, who can uh, who can help me explain that? Some sometime by S sound and sometime by Z, Z sound. Right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes by sometimes, S. Sometimes. Coco, what did you say? Like S. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, like S or like a, a Z sound, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, are there rules about that, though, you know? Um, so, uh, what about, um, how do I, I'm going to type a couple words into the chat room here. Um, well, Slim just did. Um, so, uh, so, um, uh, maybe um, Salo. Yep. Could you read the words that Slim just typed into the uh, chat, please? Okay, cars and stress. Okay, so both words end in S, but I would pronounce cars with more of a buzzing sound, more of a Z sound. Okay, okay cars with a Z sound, cars. Okay. Is that hard for you to pronounce? No. Actually, very easy. Cars? Okay. Because it sounded more like an S to me, but maybe it's the, maybe it's the internet. But, so the, um, z yeah, the Z sound has more of a, uh, has a voice behind it. Z, cars, and stress. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like tree? Mm-hmm. Trees? Um, trees. Yes, trees is a Z sound, right? Or what about um, these are a little bit more, a little bit more difficult. Um, Rema, you want to try these words? Okay. Um, products and argues. Uh, that's not argues. That's urges. Oh, yes. Um, so which one is the Z sound? It's hard to hear because. Uh, with Google Hangouts, it's not the best audio. I think product, uh, product uh, with this sound. Mm -hmm. and, and what about urges? Maybe with the z sound, possibly. Z sound, yeah. So yeah. the difference, like when I say it, I say products, urges, products, urges. So it's a very different um, consonant in, in American English. Very different. Um, but um, um, Hanan? Yes. Mm -hmm. You read the one that Pills I case. Say again? Feels case. Mm -hmm. So that second word, so feels, um, feels, uh, keys. Um, these are both have a have a buzzing sound. Both have a Z sound. It feels Z. so when it has the buzzing, all the buzzing things like th, like the or v or z. I I should be able to sing a song on that consonant. And I can't do that for an S. I can't go feels. I can go feels. Yes, can. So um. So both of those words feels these. Uh, both of those words ends in a, in a z, right? Um, uh, there's also one other way to. Uh, there's also one. There's a third way to um, pronounce this uh, plural sound. Um, so Everton, roses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's not rose. It's not rose. It's roses. So this sounds like an is. It sounds like, sounds like is. 
Yeah, same same sound. Or as Rema said. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. So um, we can only make the is sound if the noun already ends with an s-like sound, right? So rose already has a z sound. So it ends with an s sound, a z sound, or a ch sound, or a sh sound, or a j sound. Then we end it with an is. Like beaches, right? Okay, those are some of the rules on pronouncing plural words. Uh, okay. So um, let's talk more about the grammar of, of this. Um, um, I'm going to again. I'm going to share some notes with you as we as we look a little deeper into this uh, nouns and uh, non-count nouns, and we'll read it together. Unless there are any questions uh, while I load this up, are there any questions about? Um, um, any questions about the pronunciation that we were talking about, the S and Z? Nope. OK. All right. So let's, um, let's take a look at this here. I'm going to share something with you. We'll read it together. Okay, Coco. Yes. Um, can you read that okay? Maybe. What's that? Okay. Uh, start from count nouns. Yes, please. Okay, count nouns. I uh, think we can easily count them. Two, three, five cars, a dozen chairs, etc. Most nouns are count nouns. You make this by adding s at the end. Some you have to some you have to change to a uh, person pe to people. We won't study that here. Right, we're not going to study that today. We're only going to worry about the ones at <laughs> okay. We're not going to get too confusing here. Okay, very good. Um, Everton. All right. Let's talk about, let's read this. Starting from there are some no. Uh, yes, please. There are some non count nouns. These nouns are simply not easy counted. They are not pluralized with S. It includes many liquids and solids. Water, oil, ball, blood, sorry, ice, silver, gold, cotton, wool, etc. It includes many foods, milk, wine, cheese, meat, meat rice, flour, salt, sugar, etc. Great. Good. Um, let's, let's, uh, what else here, um, Hanan? Yes. Activities and then an ING. Swimming, playing, sports, football, baseball. Categories, money, software, information. Fields of study, biology, chemistry, economics. Ideas and uh, concepts, information, knowledge, confidence, importance, and justice. Right, that's a lot of, um, a lot of different kinds of words that can be used with some. Uh, yes, they are. Of non count. <laughs> So let's let's. What's the difference between it's countable and not? Let's let's try to look at details here. We'll try to look at the difference. Um, Jeffer. Teacher Anthony, can you hear me? I can. Hello. Nice to see you again, teacher. Yeah, welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, I was. Could you read uh, read this for me here? I'm trying, teacher. Uh, to compare 
count in noun counts nouns. That's right. Yep. Uh, you compare count nouns with fewer and more more dogs than items or flowers, etc. Many native speakers use the technically incorrect less than items or less, etc. Right. Um, I use that all the time. Uh, it's very common to say 10 items or 10 or less. And so technically speaking, grammatically correct, you say fewer, but everybody says less, Okay, even in advertisement. Uh, okay. Uh, good. Uh, Rema? Rema? Can you hear me, Rema? Johnny? Uh, I can't hear you anymore. So, Robinson? Robinson Mendez? Okay, Saulo? Yes, I can read it. Okay, great. Let's go. Uh, um, you compare non count nouns with more and less. More water, less oil, more dancing, less money, etc. You use too many with count nouns, too many houses, too many cars, etc. Right. That's, so here's some differences. Yes. Non count is more and less. Countable is too many or. Uh, or you can also say too few. Too few would be the other one. Good. Um, slim. Why don't you finish that? Slim, are you still there? Uh, I can't hear you, Slim. So maybe he stepped away. Wafa, could you read for us? Uh, sorry. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, you use too much with non-count, non-count nouns, too much oil and water, etc. You use too few with counts nouns, too few tables and chairs. Etc. You use too little with non count nouns, too little, too little science, too little science in school, etc. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are our rules on uh, count and non count. Okay, so um, any questions about that? I'd like to know if there is an exception for science. Uh, what do you mean exactly? Exception because for science? I, I thought there was sciences. I could use sciences. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. So there's a lot of there's a lot of words that can be used both ways. Okay. Right. So you could say the sciences. Uh, or you could say science in general. If you're just saying science, like um, we don't have enough science in our thinking, or um, there's too many sciences which rely on, you know, I'm trying to think of a good sentence, but so you can say both, but it's not often we would say too many. But um, or things like fish and fishes. Look at all the fish in the sea. Or there's some beautiful fish in the sea. There's some beautiful fish in the sea. If you're talking about different kinds of fishes, you can also say fishes. It's also correct, but it's a, di a little bit different. Uh, you can say um, there's uh, 500 species of fishes. Um, so some things can be both. Uh, okay, thank you. Yeah, true. Yeah, and then the other, and then I, there's another. Um, 
uh, example I like to give, which is more like the difference between using um, uh, like formal and informal English. When you're talking, when you're at a restaurant, you can order some Coke or some coffee or some water, but you can also, if you're being more informal, you can say, um, "Well, let's go get a couple beers. Let's go get, let's go grab a couple Cokes." Oh, I'll buy you all some waters. That means like bottles of water. So it is countable because it's a bottle. If you're talking about coffees, uh, you could say coffees, but you mean you really mean cups of coffee. So it really is countable. Or if you say a couple of beers, it means uh, a mug of beer or a uh, a bottle of beer. So that's uh, so. So sometimes we say things like that, and we actually mean something countable. There is something uh, idiomatic. Um, it's just uh, it's just uh, informal. I don't know if it's idiom. It's not really an idiom. Okay. It's okay. just uh, casual speech. Just so, okay. Yeah, just friendly friendly chatter. It's like oh, let's go get a I'll go buy a coffee. I'll go let's go grab a couple beers. We can say when you say grab a couple beers, it means let's go get some beer. So you can say it both ways. Some fresh air, maybe. Some fresh air. <laughs> uh, yeah, fresh air is definitely uncountable. There's no way you can count that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um, okay, so let's um, let's find our article today. Open that up. Oh, there it is. Um, I'm gonna get this ready here. I'm trying to make it nice and big so we can read it. Okay, I'm going to share this uh, article with you. This is from the BBC. It's about science, so it might be a little difficult. It might be a little advanced sometimes, um, even for me sometimes, because we're talking about a technology and a science that I don't know anything about. I am not a scientist, so some of these words are new for me, really. Um, but we can get the general idea, and we can definitely have a discussion about it afterwards. So listen closely. Let me know if you have any questions about the words or the meanings. And we'll read here. Okay, so um, pi pi pioneering adult stem cell trial approved by Japan. There's a nice little picture there. Oops. Okay, the first trial of stem cells produced from a patient's own body has been approved by the Japanese government. Stem cells can become any other part of the body, from nerve to bone to skin, and are touted as the future of medicine. Researchers in Japan will use the cells to attempt to treat a form of blindness, age-related macular degeneration. The announcement was described as a major step forward for the, uh, research in the field. There are already trials taking place using stem cells taken from embryos, but this is ethically controversial. There's that word we talked about, controversial. And the cells will not match a patient's own tissues, so there is risk of rejection. So not only is it controversial, but it may not work. Um, can we all mute our microphones, too? I hear some noises. It's just a little distracting. Um, Sight saving. Japan's health minister... Uh, Norihisa Tamura has ruled that the cells can now be tested in patients. The trial will be, uh, will, my goodness, so even BBC has mistakes. I've seen mistakes in every website, New York Times, Al Jazeera, BBC, blogs, you know, everything. That's a mistake, you should see. The trial will be run by the Riken Center for Developmental Biology, in the Institute of Biomedical Research and Innovation Hospital in Kobe. Initially, six patients will receive the transplants of cells to see if the procedure can restore their damaged vision. Professor Chris Mason, an expert on regenerative medicine at University College London, said, uh, this was expected, but it's obviously a major step forward. They are beneficial for two main reasons. One, they are from the patients themselves, 
so the chance of rejection is greatly reduced and there are the ethical considerations they do not have the baggage which comes from the uh, from uh, comes with embryonic stem cells on the downside we are a decade behind on the science induced pluripotent stem cells were discovered much later so we're behind on the safety in 2012 Professor Shinya Yamanaka shared the Nobel Prize for Medicine um, or Physiology for his discovery that adult human tissue could be coaxed back into a stem cell state. Stem cell state. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> That's our article. That's it. Um, so... Uh, before we do some you know, some actual discussion about the topic, are there any questions or thoughts on um, on what we read? Everton, you want to ask about coaxed? So so when. Um, so basically coax is another word to persuade um, so like I can say um, you know hey you want to come to the party with me and you say no I don't want to go to the party and you can say come on let me just come on come to the party it'll be fun come on you coax I'll coax you into it so that's to coax and here we say um, uh, to be coaxed back into a stem cell say that uh, it's a great discovery that other cells can be persuaded we can change their mind you know change their mind to become a different kind of cell unfortunately the guy who asked the question is gone but it's still uh, still a good vocabulary word Vo coaxed is a good word to learn um, oh we want the link I can definitely send the link no problem it's just BBC Um, great. Uh, any other questions? And Robinson, yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can ask. You can help us. If I'm sorry, Robinson, I asked you if you could read before, but I didn't hear anything from you, so I moved to the next person. So I wasn't trying to exclude you or ignore you, but uh, we were already moving along. So. Sorry. About uh, okay, I, I saw to read. No, there's nothing to read anymore. We're already done reading for now. But so now we're gonna we're just gonna have a discussion about the article instead. Yep. Um, uh, hello, Hazel. I see you've joined us too. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome back. Yes, thank you. Uh, uh, okay, this is about interesting. The article. You you oh. can speak many slow, please. Because uh, when you you talk quickly, I I don't I don't can. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, this is a this is more of an advanced class, okay? So I'm gonna speak in this. This is kind of my regular teaching speed for now. Um, I will teach some beginner classes next week, okay? And I will speak more slowly there. But um, new Colingo. Uh, it's going to be very specific in its skills, skill levels. We're going to the lowest skill level in the new Kalinga will be high beginner, which you may maybe almost high beginner. So even those even the easiest classes may be a little hard for you, and they're only going to go up to like low advanced. Okay, so no like expert level stuff, no super high stuff. So either between high beginner and low advanced will be at the new Kalinga. So kind of like a broad intermediate which I think a lot of you guys are somewhere in that range anyway most of you are okay um, I also see that Carlos has joined us hello Carlos I can't hear you um, make sure your microphone is turned on. There might be a, a button on your computer that you can, or on the screen that you can touch. So. Yeah. 
So we can't we can't hear your voice right now. So your microphone is either not working or it's turned off. There should be a a button to talk uh, to you. Uh, maybe a red button. Okay. All right. So um, any other questions before we facilitate facilitate discussion? Okay. Um, so. Um. Yes, Wafa? Yes, I just wish that this uh, thing will be uh, over uh, the whole world soon. Uh, oh, you wish that the whole world will have this uh, capability soon? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Me too, yeah. I'm excited that they're making progress in the technology, and I, I hope that they... Uh, they're getting better and better, and they're doing more and more. So it's very exciting to me. I like to talk about news that is optimistic and happy. There's so many things in the news that are make you depressed, and so I decided to ignore all that and talk about something exciting and optimistic. Okay. So um, yeah. Some some patient that they have, uh, for example, cancer, they like hopeless. But when they know, know about this news, they will be like a new hope for them. Exactly. So it's really important. This is a really important article. Big news. It's, it's, this could save many people's lives, right? And that's a good thing. Uh, okay, so, um, so from the reading, let's try to remember. Let's try to discuss. So how did... Uh, this, the scientists, how do they use to obtain stem cells? What was the way? From embryos. Yeah, from initially. Em initially. Yeah. yeah, initially, yes. In the English, it's embryos. Embryos. Embryos, okay. Yep. Um, but, um, right. And um, now, there was something specific in this article that they said they were going to try to treat or try to cure uh, initially with uh, this new research. What was it? What, uh, do you remember what it was? Do you remember? Uh, so, I mean, yeah, we can make different uh, organs and things with this, these new stem cells, but what they were they were focusing on a specific uh, problem. You don't have to remember the exact name, but do you remember what part of the body it was? Do you remember? It was from the beginning of the article. From the bone? Say that for, again? For uh, macular degeneration, I, uh, for uh, blindness. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, hey, uh, Robinson, don't don't mute people. <laughs> yeah. This is the discussion time. We're all supposed to be able to talk. So, um, yeah, that's that was, that's exactly. I, mean, yes. I, I can even say that macular. It's a disease which uh, the name is the same in my country. Ah. Usually, at old people, it happens. They, um, I think, the nerve is damaged. And they cannot see anymore mm -hmm. this macular degeneration, or right. maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. Anyway, no, uh, usually right. at the people of uh, above 80 years old, it's happened to right. It's common. Disease. Right, it's a common degenerative. Any kind of degenerative disease means it's going away. You're losing your capability of you know degenerative brain, degenerative. You mean uh, you're losing your mind. Degenerative macular disease means you're losing your sight. You can't see. You need glasses, uh, and soon, if you keep, if you, if the disease continues, you won't be able to see at all. You'll be totally blind. Mm -hmm. So um, that is, uh, yeah, that's the, the, that's what they're going to work on, I guess. Yeah, it will be wonderful to be able to solve this problem because now people uh, live. Uh, longer and uh, appear all kinds of uh, age-related um, diseases. 
like Alzheimer or macular degeneration and other specific old people mm. diseases. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So let's uh, we can be hopeful. That's gonna help people. Definitely. Good. Um, so. Um, does anyone remember why the original method of using embryonic stem cells in somebody else's body didn't work? Remember why? Because of the rejection? <laughs> yeah. Rejection. yeah. So you're using cell from a different body, a different type, and putting it in somebody else's body. They have different chemical makeup and different everything, and so the the body rejects it. It's like this is a foreign object. This is not me, and the and so it doesn't uh, always work. It doesn't always. There's no match. It doesn't match. So it doesn't function correctly, or it rarely worked. It was very difficult to get it to use. So, so not only does it, um, if you have any ethical or moral or religious problems with it, so not only does it fix that problem, but this new technology also. Um, uh, works better <laughs> because it, uh, the body is more likely to accept it. So that's it's a win-win, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, so. Um, okay. Anything else we want to talk about that before we do our little assessment here? So, it's the big news. What's that, Mopa? It's the big news. It's the big news. It is. Good, good news. So, um, let's say, um, let's do a little test here for um, our grammar skill. I'm going to test everyone or try to in our time that we have allotted. Um, Dave? Yes. Um, let's do, uh, I'm going to do a test. And I, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give everyone a noun. And if it's a count noun, I want you to say uh, three and then the noun pluralized. And if it's a non-count noun, I want you to say uh, more and then plural. OK? Um, so, do I have to find the plural, the plural of uh, the noun? You have to find the plural, and you have to say the number three, or you have to say more before. For instance, if I okay. say, yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay. okay. So my, your noun is um, dog. Uh, ducks. But use a number before it. Uh, three. Uh, I have uh, three ducks. Okay, three dogs. Perfect. Exactly. Three dogs. Uh, and then uh, pronunciation of that, we have the uh, the Z sound, dogs, dogs. Yep, three dogs. So that's a countable dog. One, two, three dogs. Good. Um, uh, so David. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Great. Uh, there's a little bit of an. From you. Uh, do you have a second? Have a second Hello. Hello. Oh. Do you have a second window open, David? Repeat for me, please. Uh, oh, nothing. Um, it, there was a problem with the sound, but it sounds better now. Um, uh, nice to meet you. Um, or have I met you before? Maybe I, maybe so. So, um, have you been listening to the class? Yes. Good. Um, so, do you want to try me? Do you want to try this test? If I give you a noun, can you can you uh, tell me if it's uh, countable or uncountable?
Okay. Well, you just as I, so you were listening, and you can just keep listening, and that'll that'll be that'll be good for now. Since you're you you're here at the end anyway, so just keep listening, and you can learn through us. Uh, Hanan. Hanan. Uh, I can't hear you, Hanan. Okay. So, um, Hazel. Yes, I'm here. Okay. So, what about you? If I give you a noun, let's um, um, ice. More ice. Mm -hmm, more ice. Yeah. Um, I could say. I have five ice cubes, yeah, your little ice cubes, because they're countable. But yes, the ice itself. Uh, we had the a lot cube of yeah, will be in plural, not the ice. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, an ice cube is a word, and it's yeah. a cube that becomes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like I was saying, bottles of beer, it, we shorten it to beers sometimes. Mm -hmm. same, same exact thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, good. <clears throat> okay, Robinson, it's your turn. The rule, the only rules to participate is, uh, you, you know, if I ask you a question, then you can answer, or if you have a question, then you can ask it, um, or even a okay. comment. Okay. So, um, if I give you a word, I'd like you to make it plural. So, what about uh, car? Robinson. Okay, I think this. I think, uh, yeah, I think this. I think your skill level isn't quite up to the point where you're able to work with us. So, uh, just keep listening, and um, yeah, this is not a beginner class, so it's going to be really difficult for you. So just listen, and uh, and you'll learn through us. So, Salo. Yes. What about biology? <laughs> Biology. Uh, oh, you got me. Uh, uh, I cannot say more biology. Uh, yes, you can. you can. Yes, I can. Yeah, you can. You can say more biology. We need more biology okay. in uh, in high school. I've been uh, I've been uh, I've been I've been more yeah yeah. The, you need, it's 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 a strange. It doesn't. You don't say it very often in the language, but okay. um, but there's more biology involved than physics, or there's more biology taught in the colleges these days. You can say that. Okay, I can say there's more biology in the science course mm -hmm. than the engineering course. Mm -hmm. Actually, right. in engineering, we don't have biology. Right. So, <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So that's correct. That's correct. Okay. Thanks. Um, okay. So, um, what about another good one? What about um, slim? Yes. What about electricity? More electricity. We need more electricity to uh, reach 88 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> yes, back to the future. Yeah. You know, I actually taught a whole class on Back to the Future a couple months ago. I told this story, I, and this is one of my favorite classes that I've ever taught on Colingo because if you remember the movie, um, I was teaching the class and I was showing clips, and then in the middle of the class, a new student showed up, and he was from Libya. And the, yes, <laughs> you told us the story. <laughs> okay, so you heard this story, yeah. So, uh, but the, for the people who haven't heard this story, the, the guy shows up and he's from Libya, and the bad guys in the movie are the Libyans. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, that's interesting, and it was, I, I was happy that he showed up because it, it made it very interesting. Oh, and now it's a storm here. We have thunderstorms here in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, but I don't want to skip. Wafa, I want to let her. Um, I want to let her do the test.
So um, maybe I'll do a hard one. Okay. Um, so Wafa. Okay. Yes. Uh, somebody said this in the in the chat room before, but what about goose? <laughs> Gooses? Is, is it like sheep or? Um, it's uh, it, but if you can say either more or three, the most important thing is it, is it countable or or uncountable? It's countable. Okay. Three. So how? So you can three, say three. Mm -hmm. now the Is plural, it gooses or gooses? It's actually geese. Uh, geese. It's, so I I talked. I think you. I think ghost is good because I didn't see the chat. I'm using the. Oh no, 3G. nobody. Yeah, nobody typed it in the chat. They, somebody typed goose in the chat, but nobody typed the plural. So the the plural of goose is harder. It's like uh, I shouldn't have used it because we weren't talking about. We were only talking about the s the s words. So I made it hard for you, but you'll learn a new word. It's like yes, I, I know go that it's geese, but um, I think that ghosts, you know, like uh, it's a spooky thing. It's ghosts, ghosts. Oh, ghost, not ghost. Ghost hunter. Yeah. Oh, ghost? No, I was talking about uh, go uh, goose, uh, animal, like a bird. Goose. Yes, I just misunderstood. Ah, uh, okay, I understand. No problem. So, but yeah, of course, countable. You can say five geese, three geese. Um. Okay. So, um, good job, everyone. Um, now there's some people I skipped because I couldn't. Like Hanan, are you still there? Uh, but I can't. Uh, uh, all right, so uh, Everton is back. Yes. Hey, okay, so I'll quiz you before we uh, leave here. Um, uh, so what about the word soccer? How would I pluralize that in a sentence? If I say um, multiple. The players? No, just the game, soccer. There is no more soccer. I don't, I don't know. It, it is countable. I don't think so. No, try just make a sentence. You started. You started a sentence. You try to finish it. There is no more socks in the school nowadays. Okay. There is no more soccer in the what? In the school's class. In the, in the what class? In school classes. The school. Oh, okay. Yeah, you could say no more soccer. You can say there's no more soccer uh, in class uh, or in the in gym. Or we don't learn soccer anymore. There's no more soccer in the school. We've removed it from the curriculum. Yep, it's just soccer. No more soccer. Yep, okay. so it's okay. uh, uncountable. Good. Great job, guys. Great job. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Um, okay. So we are finished, and this is my last class for today. Tomorrow, um, my first class will be uh, from old Colingo, and my second class will be new Colingo tomorrow. Okay. Sounds cool. So, uh, but I think everyone should try new Colingo. Uh, I think you'll love it, and there's no excuse not to. Well, there are some excuses not to, if because right now you can only use a credit card or pay. Card. But the first the first week is free, so give it a shot. Try it out. We need your help too. Anyway, we need your help to ask to tell us how you know if there's some problems with the site or if there's some suggestions that you might have. Uh, okay. Have a great night, everyone. Good job, and I will see you soon. I hope. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Anthony. Bye. Okay. See you Thank soon. You.